Hi everybody, guess what? We what? just got back from the freezing Indiana weather where it was snowing to it to a cover bridge festival in Rockville, Indiana. There's a couple of other towns there that it's just a week-long festival with yard sales, garage sales, and lots of stuff going on. So we'll show you what we got. Be right back. Hello everybody, how you doing out there? And welcome or welcome back to our channel. My name is Jeannie. And I'm Mike and it's great to be back in the warm state of Florida. Yeah, we were kind of cold up there, weren't we? Yes, we were. Mm, not used to that cold, but here this morning it was like 40 something. I know, it's like a heat wave up there when we was there. It was cold. It was cold, but we bared. We, what did we do? We trudged through the cold and found some treasures. Yes. And we went to the Cover Bridge Festival. Here and there. Mm -hmm. and downtowns, it was more uh, what would crafty. You call it? Crafty and uh, a lot of food, different foods. You ever seen ham and beans cooked in a great big pot over fire? You can go there to see that. And you can even try them. Yeah. Like I said, the majority of ours was uh, long side at garage sales. And it's always nice to find stuff. And so today, what we're going to do is we got. A lot of stuff but today we're not going to show you all this stuff we're going to show you what we got and the comps on it because we spent very little when we were there and we'll show you how much they're selling for online that's true here we go. this is you this, go first you go first i was going to <laughs> this here Are you go first i might go first all right <clears throat> I'm going to trivet you. These, I found three trivets. Trivia? These are from a... That doesn't look like trivia. Trivia. Trivets. Will, Wilton. Wilton Trivets. Tri what do you... Uh -huh. trivets. This trivet. Trivets. That's one. That's the smallest one. These are cast iron. Solid cast iron. These have brooms on them. I don't know if you can, you know you can see the broom. Okay. These are old. Oh, you don't send my trivet. These, no. These aren't made to be old. These are old. This one has a, I don't know what it is on there, but some kind of decoration. Okay. That's, that's a little pretty. bit bigger one. I'll hold it so it doesn't make a clanky noise. Clank it up against my head. And this one looks just like the other one, except it's bigger and you can see the brooms on it. And these yes. even have the uh, uh, Pantene to it, natural Pantene. You mean? Rust. Patina? Patina and they're um, ornate. They're they're pretty ornate. No, they're not. They're cast iron. Oh, cast iron. Not ornate. <laughs> no, and we're doing this. And so, what's the next thing? You want to see how much we're going to sell them for? <laughs> what their comps are? Look right up here. Look. Here, do it right here. Look. Right there. Right there. Look right there. Look right there. Okay. You're next. I know, but you've got all the stuff, so you're going to have to hand me some. Here, how about this? Okay, and we <laughs> have actually sold these before. If you see any of these vintage Fisher Price, um, this is the airport. Now, it didn't have any of the, and it works. It goes around so you can, that's so that you can tell. Let's see where the radar is. Radar is. It doesn't have any of the people with it. That we do have some people from another purchase that we're gonna go ahead and put with it because they go with them. But we got it for really, really good. Experience. We're gonna put it, probably advertise this as MASH. MASH? Yeah, Why is that? Because you always find radar on MASH. Oh, that's good. Maybe somebody will find it. Look at those <laughs> gas. Do you think, is that how they put gas in the engines of? Well, they usually Airplanes. put gas in the gas tanks. Oh, no, I'm not there. That's <laughs> good. Good thing. Good thing. And since I'm the hander of things, here is Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer for you to. I'll hand it to you. Okay, so I'm showing this two, two in a row. I'll just hand it to you. Okay, this is Blink <laughs> Mug, and he actually works. Um, new in box, and this was a collector. We got this from a collector of Rudolph stuff memorabilia and so 
like I said, she was, she was ready to get rid of her stuff. And it actually blinks and plays a tune. Look up there. How much? Look up there. So, the musical light up mug. Blinky. Isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. I thought it was neat. And I thought we'd sell it because she was getting rid of all her stuff. The stuff she had there, she wasn't going to take home. So. Was this the lady that was selling everything at a barn? Well, I don't think so. When we went to the one and this lady was really willing to sell excellent stuff for unbelievable, inexpensive we, prices. Yeah, I think if when we went to them, the ones that we bought from were the ones that were willing to sell. Not the ones that wanted a dollar off of whatever it was or thought this was the best thing in the world because they've had it for years and wanted a premium price for it. So. Mm -hmm. This is true. Speaking of true, <coughs> I love you. Oh, that's so sweet. The next thing we got was this Woodstock, and we actually got this at a was an antique um, store, flea market. It was more of a flea market, and this is a 1965 Woodstock peanuts glass. And like I said, for the price that we paid for Looks it, like it's 32 ounce. Just what it sold for. I would say 32 ounce. Mm -hmm. We we usually do these pretty quick, like the ones that are the bigger 1960s type things. That's a nice one. I like that one. All this stuff will be online on our eBay store or Poshmark. And also, we do an auction. Well, it'll be every Friday. And it's on Cajun Roots Reseller on his channel. And we'll put a link to that in the description. Mm -hmm. Come on over and bid on some of this stuff. You don't know what we're going to put. If you anything you like, it might be on bid. There. Come join us. Don't it's it. fun. It's live. Sure. <laughs> Next thing we got was a pair of native shoes. And these are little water shoes that are real popular amongst the the. The little little ones because they're you put them on and they're just good to go and they do last quite a while mm -hmm. washable they get it this little stuff they come real clean so we actually got those and I'll put those on Poshmarked Poshmark oh this is heavy okay then and I'm always on the lookout for these because I have seen some that go for like crazy amounts but this one um it's beaded i love the old vintage beaded purses and he actually has it's Wahlberg board and it actually still has this little per chain purse in with it that's connected it's actually connected to if i pull it too hard it'll come apart but it's actually still connected to the purse we want to keep it connected and it's got like these little diamonds. It's got I would say they're faux. It looks like the purse of a million little beads. It is a purse of a million beads. So I did pick that up and we'll show you how much it costs. We will. And moving right along. Left along. We have low, low pro, Tom Tom. You know what? This did come from, some of this stuff did come from the Goodwill bins when we were there. Because this did. I found this. Um, whenever we find these and we have the cords where we can test them, <coughs> we go ahead and pick them up. This is Tom Tom. It's a GPS. And it's got that. And then it does have the cord. In there and it has an extra cord of course this wasn't original to it but we'll plug it in make sure it works and and then we'll put it on goodwill bins doesn't doesn't even weigh a pound nope. and they do sell and mm -hmm. I think the last two or three we've had actually sold overseas one in England and one somewhere else so they yeah. do sell they it, sell yeah and you know what that goodwill bins was huge compared to ours. Yeah, they, she did go to the Goodwill bins there. So there is a couple things. 
You hit any place you can when you're out. Mm -hmm. Here's a couple of baskets. <laughs> That's about all I can say about that. And these are handmade baskets. These are, they have like that little design on it. And they're actually nesting baskets. And we found, found those while we were out. And I always, I like these. I like them to have a little bit more color, but that natural, the natural tan color is like pretty awesome too. Oh, Nothing wrong put, with them. You could put wood stock in that in there and it'd be a real nesting. Ah, uh, it would. It'd be, it'd be a nest, a nest for a bird. Let's see, two more things over here. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, be careful. Whoa. And here is a snake bowl. You play the flute and he'll come out on top. Okay, play the flute. Do, 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 do. No flute. Nope, you're not in there today. No flute, no snake. But it's a hand carved wooden container. I wouldn't call it a trinket it's like dish. A bowl to me. Because you would put, definitely have. But it's. Real light wood. It's been handcrafted in, in the Philippines. See? In the Philippines, and it's real ornate. Got a couple of houses on there. Some. Depending on how much oh, nice carving is on it, and it does. Got a lot of carving. Look right there. Look right there. <laughs> right. What kind of wood that is? What. It's carved wood. See? <laughs> what do you smell it for? All right, we got a cassette radio clock, whatever radio thing, and it works. It does work, and it's. Sound, it actually sounds really good. The cassette player. A GE FM cassette player, radio, alarm clock. Y'all remember those cassettes, you know? And this does have, this is lighted. It's not one of those ones yeah. that flip down. But it was a good find, too. Yes, it is. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say. What? Cassettes ruin the eight track tapes. Cassettes ruin the eight track tapes. Oh, is that a song? Not that one. But <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, that's one you made up? No, no, it's a, never mind. Anybody that's watched the first one at MTV knows kind of like a song. Oh. Radio killed the videos. Radio killed the oh. radio star. Oh, I never know. So that's the, close. The yes, I know which one you're talking about now. I'm I'm back on board. Back on board. Okay. Some of the stuff that we found while we were. It's some of the things we found. The finds we found at the Coverbridge Festival garage sales. Yes, it was. And I hope. And we took 12 this hours to get up there. Yeah. And the 14 to get back. <laughs> but, but hope it helped you out a little bit to see what you can pick up that you can turn around and make some money on. Um, if you made it this long, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave us a comment. Give us a like. Give us a like. And, and if you like it, don't forget to tell your friends to watch us, please. Thank you very much. I'll see you later because I'm gone. Bye. Bye. For some of the finds that we. Well, that's some big ones. Eight track. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Well, I'm going to show what they sell for. How are you going to show that? I'm going to put that little insert right here. Like we did our. We bought at. In fact. I think all of it was, but hi everyone. Hello everybody.